uh, I mean, how do you, how did you do it? How do you, you know, practice on your schedule? Do you like time limit yourself? Do you like, oh, like one month or like one week to do three acts or something like that? Well, you get into a pattern when you do it. I mean, the Writers Guild offers two weeks to write a script. That's what, if you're a freelance writer, they have to give you two weeks to go home. But when you're on a staff, they expect you to write it in one week. They expect you to be able to write 10 to 15 producible pages a day. So that's where you have to get yourself to if you're really going to take it seriously. So yeah, this took two months. This takes one month. And you get it down to three weeks and two weeks and the best you can. Um, You have to find the times of day that work for you. Some people are night writers. I am not. But some people can work really great from 10 in the evening till 2 in the morning and then sleep from 3 to 10, right? Okay, then then you have to know that. And then you need to build a day job that allows you to do that, right? Because that's yes. when you're going to do the most work. Some people, I go from like 6 a.m. to like 2, a- 2 p.m. And then I make phone calls and do other kind of email work and stuff like that because then I sort of run out of my creative excitement or whatever. So I have to make sure that I don't do anything else until later. I don't take meetings or do things like that until later in the day. If you don't do that, you when you finally approach your computer to start writing something, it will take you so much longer and it will be so much more frustrating that you won't get to the point you want and you might turn away, right? So you have to be in a, a comfortable place to do that. And, you know, this town is full of different kinds of jobs you can make work for that, whatever is the time frame that you need. 